And she's an herbalist. She should know that. But immediately, you go into detox immediately. So what does she use herbs for? To treat diseases? I don't know. So, okay. Would you speak about this in some way? I know you said uh, you don't need uh, read because it throws you off, but please try to read these two short articles to understand her standpoint. I don't have to understand her standpoint. I don't need to understand her standpoint. Ain't worth my time uh, reading that. It has nothing to, I already know where she's coming from. I already know that state of consciousness, and I disagree with it. I can already tell you. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. She doesn't have a clue. And then I'd like to see what she thinks about nutrition. But uh, uh, other than that, I don't really care. Hopefully you can address this so I can get a clearer picture. Yeah, please get a clearer picture because you can't stop detoxification. And you want to clean the body. There, matter of fact, half the herbs are for cleansing. The other half's really for, for re rebuilding tissue. But all your lymphatic herbs, there's so many herbs for cleansing in, in the body. But then there's other herbs, of course, for tissue. These herbs aren't for diseases because God didn't create diseases. Man did. So there's no herbs for diseases. So what are they for? What are all these different herbs for in nature? What's the lymphatic herbs for? To make the lymphatic stronger? It's a fluid-based system. So you see where I'm going here? This is how you clean yourself out. If you can't detoxify yourself out and you have a big tumor, you're going to enjoy the side effect of a big tumor. So, uh, no honey. No, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Sorry. But, thanks for this. So, you so much for your work. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it much. You're an angel. You're a sweetheart, too. And listen, don't worry about that. And I, I see them right here. They, they, they ran them for me. So, I'll read them, but I, I can just tell you. Yeah, I, we're way past that. You're way past that yourself. Don't get trapped in that. I don't care how nice the lady is or good or all that kind of stuff. You don't detoxify. Look at all the YouTubers that are detoxified and look at what they've gained. They've gained their remedy, their wellness back. And if you don't clean out your acids and rehydrate and rebuild your body, then I don't know how you get well. And you can feed it nutrition, but what's your take on, uh, and people's take on nutrition? See, there's just there's so much of that out there. What is this? <laughs> look at this. This is cool. Baby in mango box. Baby in mango box. Cute, cute, cute. Good parents. The liver and the adrenal gland relationship. Dr. Morris, is there any relationship between the liver and the adrenal glands? Well, the biggest one I know of is neurological and lymphatic. Now, in terms of uh, steroids in the liver, I will say that you're dealing in iron utilization or iron metabolism. Uh, that's a biggie. Uh, you know, so there is an adrenal connection in terms of metabolism of certain metals or, or minerals. Uh, there's a connection autonomically, the neurological system. Uh, there would be a connection lymphatically, of course, and that would be the sewer system in there. So the nervous system, the, the lymphatic system connection would definitely be there for sure, I would think. I have five lots of nerve. Wow. She has five different nerve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's cutting through the liver gallbladder, it's just like it would be cutting through anything else. You have a reduced function of tissue. And then, depends how bad that nervous system is to that. Because remember, we talked about neurological type 1 diabetes. Yeah. And this was, this was a, little, a little research done on mice in, a, in Canada, in a university. It seemed like Canada is doing some good research in their university, some good stuff. But uh, uh, it's too bad it's not all filtering with the rest of Canada and their, their physicians and stuff, but some good research coming out of Canada. And it's, um, this one showed that there is a neurological type 1 diabetes, which is easy. And then soon after I read that research, I, had, uh, I started looking at this, and I had a lady that had a knee injury. She had four surgeries. I can't imagine why four surgeries to fix a knee, but she said they did, somehow they just didn't work or something. But four surgeries. After her fourth surgery, she came out of surgery with type 1 diabetes, and she quit menstruating. And they couldn't figure out why. And I said, you can't figure out why? Well, that's simple to understand. It's a Michael Jackson effect. That's propobol. Neurotoxic. So she had neural suppression. 
and it suppressed the beta, probably a bunch of other things too. Suppressed her pituitary, she quit menstruating. Well, we popped out the pituitary, got the beta cells up, and she left type 1 and started menstruating, and everything was good. But so you just look at those things and realize, you know, we're in a, we're in a world, a bad world in certain ways, and we just got to learn how to protect ourselves with the foods and everything like that. So this lady's got five nerve rings around the eye. And I just showed you the nerve rings from, um, yeah, nerve rings are all those rings that go around in an eye, like eggs rings on a, on a, on a you cut a tree off, the, the edge rings. And you don't want a lot of those, but the younger people are going to have them. And this is, this is from the genetic adrenals. I hope this is not your baby. Uh, I have five lots of nerve rings that fade in and out, depending. Naturally, I am very tired a lot of the time. Yep, that'd be your adrenals, and you would be tired. That's a neurological fatigue. You can be strong constitution, have plenty of great genes, but just feel like you're just terrible. And that's the adrenal glands. That's your nerve rings, and your myelin sheaths are down. And, of course, this is a perfect setup for shingles and all this other stuff. I am very tired a lot of the time. I would go on the adrenal glandular 400s. I would right off <laughs> one, three times a day if it was me. Uh, I also had some liver issues in the past. Gallstones at age 19. Okay, so you know you're very acidic. You know that the adrenals are sitting on top of the kidneys, and so you know you have kidneys that are not filtering, sweetheart. I mean, you can tell. You know this, and so now you got the blowback to the liver, the gallbladder, and stuff like that. You can do a liver gallbladder flush to get that out. Use the liver gallbladder formula to start cleaning the stones out and enhancing the liver. But you want to think lymphatics. You want to hone down on those nerve rings and on, on that. And the way to do that is the adrenal gland kidney connection. That will pull the liver clean. It will pull your bowels clean because if you got it up in the liver, remember, the GI tract is the, the trunk of the tree. So the liver is just a branch. Here's the pancreas. Here's the spleen. So they can get it too. So it's just getting your lymph moving and cleaning out. And all that inflammation, any stones that are formed, remember, are formed under acidosis, agglomeration. So how do you break a, a, apart hardness and, and, and dehydration? Electrolytes, alkaline chemistry. Your fruits and your veggies. I have done a few liver flushes. Uh, will it help my adrenals in the long run to improve liver health? By, uh, uh, I would go the opposite. I would get. I mean, you're doing good with the liver, but you want to go down and deal with those adrenals. The liver's not going to help the adrenals. The adrenals need to help the liver. See where I'm going? So you got to go after the adrenals. The glands are always the key. Everything else is prime of face. So the key, the, 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 the real law, so to speak, is the glands. Prime of face of law would be the UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. That's when they stop you on the highway and give you a speeding ticket. That's not law like law officers claim. That's a code.